Now, do you know what I think we need, Ben Ford? What do we need? Something Sylvia to Jeffries? warm our hearts on a chilly winter's morning. Some soup. Maybe that too, but how about two very special people named George? Yeah, one is a beautiful little boy uh, who has faced more than his fair share of battles. The other, a 75-year-old engineer spending his retirement helping others. Let's meet them both. When I was pregnant with George, we had no idea that there was anything um, going on other than a perfectly healthy baby coming into um, our lives. When he was born, he um, had one arm that didn't work properly and half of his face wasn't working properly. And um, initially they thought that he'd sustained a birth injury. George has got a neuromuscular condition, so it means that any of the muscles that are attached to his skeleton don't work properly, so um, he struggles with moving. And his particular genetic mutation has never been seen in the world before, so he is the, the world first. It's been a tough start to life for little George, but the now two-year-old is cheeky, inquisitive, and most importantly, happy. Not to mention a massive ACDC fan. Mum Nadia and Dad Nathan are George's biggest fans, dedicating their lives to making sure his life is as good as it can be. The two-year-old's muscles are weak, but his mind is perfect. He can self-mobilise if he's put into his walker, but if you had him on the floor, he'd stay there forever, like he can't get up off the ground or anything. Which means the road ahead is going to be tough. At the moment, he gets around with the help of a walker, but he can't use it on the grass and he craves more freedom. We've got some, an application in at the moment for a power wheelchair through um, the NDIS, um, but as anyone who's experienced with the NDIS knows, it's taking a very, very long um, amount of time to get any equipment um, actually into your life. And this is where we meet Big George. It catches everybody's eye. A 75-year-old retired engineer and volunteer at TAD who converts mini ride-on cars for kids with disabilities. This is basically a good old-fashioned swing. We put new slots just to take a, a five-point harness and the joystick is go forward and reverse and it does the steering from left and right. He's made many, including one for a little boy called Noah who has muscular dystrophy. Noah is sound sensitive, so in addition to the regular changes like making it take off and stop slower, George also made his turn on with no sound. And today, Big George is in the workshop making one for Little George. Everybody seems to like the red one. I mean, you can buy these swing seats in blue oh, and no. something else. No, that has got to be red. Go. It's got to be red. So fast red car. A fast red car. On top of making it, George even personally home delivers each and every one. Yeah, come round. Come have a look down here. That's it. Yeah. Big red car. Within minutes, George works out how to use the controls and is able to move around on his own. That's it. Big red car. I think he likes it. I think he loves it. <laughs> yeah, from the reaction that we got, yeah, he's definitely really enjoying being in it. Yeah. High five. Good on you. Thank you very much. You're Bill. welcome. Appreciate I hope it, it, I hope it survives. Job. Thank you, George. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Say so thank you, George. Thank Good you. Boy. Fantastic. Big George has been nominated for a New South Wales Volunteer of the Year award. But regardless of what happens, George reckons he's already won. It's so good to see somebody benefit from the special things it do. There's no better prize than a smile from an amazing and grateful family. I like that. Oh, oh yes. Oh, now it's Big George. <laughs> and Little George. We love both the Georges. Good morning to both yeah, of them. Yeah, well done. And yeah. uh, fingers crossed in the New South Wales Volunteer of the Year yeah. Awards for Big George. It's